As much as I enjoy putting on makeup, there are some days that I just want something really quick and really easy, and I don't wanna to have to go through every single step. So I've kind of developed this for myself. It's a very bronzy look. It's a very easy look that goes on in about 10 to 15 minutes. I still take a while. It's not like a five minute makeup routine or anything, but it's very easy for me to achieve this. Now I will tell you that I've prepped my face with eyebrows and I've put on the Jason Wu eyeshadow primer. I love this because it's very light and it, this is the light color. It does He does have other colors, but I really do like using this. It keeps my eyeshadow on all day long and I just love it. So, and then the eyebrows, if you want to see a really great eyebrow tutorial, I do have one of those. It's a step-by-step -step kind of connect the dots type thing that I'll share with you. Also, I always get asked what I have on. I will put up a picture right here of my shirt and my earrings and everything and all that will be listed down below along with all the makeup that I'm using today to achieve this look. So we're gonna get right into it. I've actually also prepped my face with the NYX Blur Screen. Now that is kind of a moisturizer, sunscreen, primer, all in one. So I don't have to go ahead and go in with any more primer. If you wanted to, if you have spots that are troublesome for you, you can go ahead and do that. That's not a problem. So I'm going to use my number seven lift and illuminate. If you've been with me for years, you know that this is my number one drugstore foundation of all time. I absolutely love this. This one is in the color wheat and I'm using a little bit darker than my skin because I have been self tanning. So this is a little bit darker than my face, but it'll work out fine. And I'm just going to start with one pump of this and one pump of that Ooh, that looks too dark. Okay, I'm gonna mix it with um, Cool Ivory. I like both of these colors, but that wheat looked just a little bit too dark. You know what I love about this particular foundation is that it's truly a cool toned foundation and it still looks too dark, but we'll go for it. I'm gonna take my BK 105 foundation brush and I'm gonna spray that with some Max Fix Plus. You can spray it with any primer spray you want to. Usually not a setting spray because you don't exactly want this to dry down. You just want it to help spread your foundation all over. And a brush really helps this because what happens is you get it on quicker. Sometimes when you use a sponge, you don't quite get it on as fast. If you want to, after you're done applying this, you can go in with a sponge and take up any excess if you get too much on. So basically I had two pumps on there and I'm just spreading that around my face using my favorite concealer of the moment, which is Tower 28. I love this stuff. I put one dot on each side. And if you're wondering why I'm looking right here, it's because my mirror is right there. Now what I do to achieve a really good coverage without it being too thick is I didn't put too much on and now I'm just spreading it a tiny bit. I'm gonna let that dry down without blending it out and then go back in and blend it out later completely so it doesn't get any creasing. But what's gonna happen is as it dries down, it's gonna give me more coverage. All right, here's my friend. And this I discovered very recently. It's from Laura Geller. And I know many of you have talked about it to me before. And I'm so glad that I finally took the plunge and I bought this. This is her Baked Balance and Brighten in Fair. And it doesn't look like much in the pot, especially when you've got all the lights here. But this is the most beautiful kind of red toned bronze which I love about it because this looks so good on my cool toned skin for a bronzer that I'm just super impressed. So I take this clear up into my hairline and I am not stingy with it at all. I'm gonna really have this look be very bronzed. I love this bronzer. It is easy to work with. It is super cool toned and it makes my skin look bronzed without looking oompa loompa orange. I think that's just great. So I'm gonna dust this into the hairline generously. I'm going to come down here on my cheeks generously and my chin, my nose, and I'm going to do my jawline. Right down the middle of your chin, if you have a double chin like I do, or if you have a sagging chin like I do, and it just looks so pretty and so flawless. So I dip barely into the product again from Laura Geller and I pinch the brush that I'm using, that BK Beauty brush, and I'm just going to dust across my eyes to give an eyeshadow look. This is so very easy, so very quick. It just doesn't take any time at all because my eyeshadow is usually what takes me all the time in the world. And this is very, very simple and very easy. Now that I have that across my eyes, I'm going to just blend this out a little bit on my concealer so that it looks very seamless. The Tower 28 concealer has truly been my saving grace. 
I am in love with this concealer. I think that it's better than 90% of the concealers I've ever used. And I also really like the new Natasha Denona one, but I think I like this a little bit better because it's thinner with more coverage. So this is my go-to right now. I absolutely love it. At this point, you can use blush if you want to, but you absolutely don't have to. I just grabbed a Rimmel Maxi blush and this one is in third base. And I'll just go down in there and I'll put a little bit of extra blush across my cheeks. And then I'll take it and again, I'll pinch that brush and go across my eyes just for a little depth and dimension, nothing major. You know, I truly believe that as you're doing your makeup, brushes can make a huge difference. And I would say that the BK Beauty brushes, Sigma brushes, Refer brushes, those are all such good quality, such high-end brushes. I'm going to use an eyeliner and I'm going to use an E30 Sigma. This is a pencil brush and you've probably seen me use this before if you've seen any of my tutorials. And I'm going to just lay down a whole lot of eyeliner right here on the outside of my eye. What that does is it deposits all of it right out there, but it gives you the control to smudge it wherever you want to. And this brush does that as well. It gives you total control. And I just take and I smudge out that eyeliner for depth on the bottom eyelashes. And bringing it up towards the tail of your eyebrow also gives you a lifted look. This is so easy, and if you want to go into the waterline with this brush, you're gonna get a smudgy look on that as well. Also, if you wanna drag a little bit of that color into your crease, you can do that. Smudging it out does help you keep that on all day, but if you want to have it extra budge proof, go down into your bronzer again. Just kinda of catch it where the darkest color is and go over top of your eyeliner. That's gonna set it for the day and it's going to really be budge proof through this summer weather that we're having. So I wanna bring some light into that inner corner. I don't want my eyes to look dull. This is a single shadow that I bought from Essence. It's soft touch eyeshadow. And I, of course, can't see what it is. It's called Bubbly Champagne. I'm just taking a flat paddle brush or a flat concealer brush and I'm going down in there. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna very lightly coat the inner corner because I don't want it to be stark. I just want the whole look to be softened but I do want some light there. Now, if you wanted to, you could just dust this in the middle of your eyelid. That's going to bring extra light to that lid a little bit. This way you're not getting a chrome look or a very metallic look, you're just getting a soft glow look. Because the eye is kind of subdued and it's not, you know, way out there, I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline. This is their Color Sensational Lip Liners. And I believe this one is in Plum Passion. So this is gonna be a little bit dark, but um, the lips are okay to be dark when the eyes are not overdone. Overlining your lips can give a great amount of dimension to your lips. And it also helps so much with your lips looking fuller. So go ahead and overline those lips and then just kind of blend them a little bit and I don't know if you guys have seen the new Butter Gloss Blings. It has a little bit of glitter in them or a little bit of shimmer in them. This one is called Big Spender. So this is kind of the same color as my lip liner. Not quite. It's kind of sheer compared to it. But it's still going to give me a little bit of added dimension to the lips. If I don't want that liner to be too stark, I'm just going to go over it with the lip gloss a little bit. So in the areas where I get a little bit of breakthrough with my makeup, especially in the summer, around the nose, around the chin, I'm going to use the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Pressed Powder. This is in Light 6. I'm not going to use a lot, and I'm going to make sure I dust it off or pat it off. And I'm just going to use it in those areas that need a little bit of extra love and the pores need to be hidden. I want it to be a polished look, but I don't want a lot of powder on there because the powder will dry you out and make you look older, but I want a little bit on there. Next I'm going to go in and I'm going to curl my lashes and then I'm going to put a couple of coats of L'Oreal Lash Paradise on. If you need volume more than you need length on your lashes, like I do, you want a natural bristle brush, L'Oreal Lash Paradise does that really, really well. If you need length, or if you wanna do both, then go back in after you've done this one from L'Oreal and try the Sky High from Maybelline. Finish it off with the lovely new Power Grip Setting Spray from e.l.f. and this just helps keep it in place for the day. 
this is such a fine mist it's beautiful and there you have it a finished look very bronzy look in about 10 to 15 minutes my hair is straight because my next tutorial is all about doing my hair with a dupe from dyson so you might want to stay tuned for that in the next couple days hope that you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up if you did don't forget that everything will be listed and linked below for you everything i have on including the nails and all of the makeup, all of that will be listed and linked below for you. I appreciate you spending some of your time with me and I hope that you did enjoy this look. Do you have a summer go-to look that you would like to tell us about? You're welcome to tell us that in the comment section. Thanks so much for being with me and please come back around in my very next video. Love you much. Goodbye, my friends.